Aloha. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Happier at Work with Heather Patterson. I'm Heather. Today, we're going to talk a bit about the result side of workplace happiness. Workplace happiness is a combination of two key ingredients. The first being our working relationships and next, results. And it can go in the opposite order too, but as long as those two things are there and they're strong, then you have a really great chance at having a happy workplace. I give you tips and tricks, strategies, techniques on this channel for uh, you to implement and make your own. So like I mentioned today, we're going to be talking about getting results. Now there's lots of ways to get results, but one of the really easy, quick ways to do this is to have a plan. Now, you can have a big plan for what you are going to do uh, for the year, for the quarter, for the month, for the week even, but even having a daily plan on what you set out to achieve will help you get results at work. Some people will be more inclined to make a list, a to-do list, but I like to say make a success list. And the thing about a success list is that it has to be very intentional and very focused on your priorities. The success list isn't the low-hanging fruit, it's not the easy stuff. Oftentimes, it's the hard things that we know we need to get done to really make some big headway into our larger goals. For me personally, I like to use a little notebook. I get this one from a local retailer here in Hawaii, but you can find moleskins or just a little notebook. Some people like to use a whiteboard or what have you. The thing is, is that you just want to write down these key ideas that you want to do every single day. And make sure that you're making blocks so that you can later cross them off. What happens when you cross that off is you will get what's called dopamine. That's a feel-good chemical that your body that your body naturally produces. You will get that and you'll be able to see yourself making headway into those larger goals that you're trying to accomplish. When you do that enough times in a row, in a week, a month, a year, you'll see even greater results and you'll have lots of dopamine running through your system. I hope you found this video helpful. I encourage you to go adopt a success list just as soon as you can. You can start as early as now. And have a happier day. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends, family, and coworkers.